Welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on colligative properties, where I'll be focusing on the exhibition of osmotic pressure. First thing first, what are colligative properties? Now, colligative properties are sets of physical properties of a solution that depends on the number of particle and not the nature of the particle. Now, in today's video lesson, we'll be focusing on one of the colligate property, which is called exhibition of osmotic pressure. And there are some calculation problems that must be noted on this aspect. And you can see the first question. Now, to calculate the osmotic pressure of a solution, there's an equation. And it is giving us pi, which is the osmotic pressure, is equal to m r o t i now the question you ask yourself whereby pi a signifies the osmotic pressure so this is the osmotic pressure and m basically is called molarity this is molarity and arrow is called the molar gas constant the molar gas constant and the molar gas constant is of different kinds but we're talking on the 0 0.08205 okay and we use sometimes i'm giving 8.314 and what is t t basically is temperature in kelvin temperature in Kelvin. Okay, whereby I is called Van of factor. Okay, Van of factor. Now, when do we use this arrow, which is the molar gas constant when it is 0 0.08205? It is used whenever the volume is in dm cube or liters and also used whenever the pressure is in atmosphere which is atm now when is this molar gas constant used, which is 8.314 it is used whenever the volume is in meter cube and the pressure is in um newton per meter squared or you say pascal so basically, these are the scenario in which these two constants are used, which is called the molar gas constant. Now, the question you ask yourself, how do you determine the Van Off factor of a solute? Because in this context, we'll be solving molar masses of different solutes. Now, you need to check the nature of the compound, first of all. Now, in this question, it is a non-dissociating solute. So basically, the Van Off factor becomes one. What do I mean? Like the substance did not dissociate. When it's it just a non-dissociating solution, so basically it did not dissociate. So the Van Off factor become one. But if it compounds like sodium chloride, now basically when we dissociate this compound, we get two ions, Na plus plus Cl minus. Okay? How many ions? Two ions. So basically the Van Off factor becomes two. Okay? Now, for example, uh, we use compounds like MgCl2. So basically, when we dissociate this compound, we get Mg2 plus plus 2 Cl minus. Okay, the reaction is balanced. So basically, it's one more and there's two more. So what will be the Van Off factor? Three. So basically, you can see how to determine Van Off factor. Okay, just the number of moles of the, of the compounds when dissociated. Okay, you can see now basically these are the concepts to the osmotic pressure now recall for molarity molarity has a formula and it's simply mass times 1000 over molar mass of the solute times volume in cm cube because we're using 1000 years to convert the volume from cm cube to dm cube or you say liters okay that is the formula for molarity 
okay so basically let's impute this into the formula so what will be uh, the, the osmotic pressure if we are calculating for the osmotic pressure now it becomes molarity which is mass times a thousand times rot banal factor over molar mass times volume so you can see basically how to solve osmotic pressure of solute is being done so let's quickly move over to this first question let's quickly move over to this first question Now, the question says, 25 grams of a non-dissociating solute dissolves in 500 cm cube of solution at 25 degrees Celsius. The osmotic pressure of the solution is 15.28 atm. What is the molar mass of the solute? So in this context, they are asking us to determine the molar mass of the solute. Now, first, you can see the osmotic pressure given is in ATM. Okay? Now, which of this constant is best to be used? It is 0 0.08205 because now the pressure is in what? ATM. So basically, let's apply the formula. We call osmotic pressure is molarity times RO, which is the molar gas constant and temperature in Kelvin, times the Vanoff factor. But in this context, it is a non-dissociating compound, so the Vanoff factor becomes 1. So let's quickly apply the formula. Recall, molarity is mass times 1,000 over molar mass times volume. So it becomes mass times 1,000 times RO times T times the Vanoff factor over a molar mass times the volume in cm cube. If the volume was in dm cube, 1000 will not be needed. So basically, let's impute parameter. Parameter, but wait, we need to make molar mass subject of the formula because it's what we have to get. So molar mass becomes mass times 1000 times RO times T times the Banoff factor over pi times volume in cm cube. Now, what is the molar mass? Let's impute parameter. The mass here is given to be 25 grams. So we say 25 grams times 1000 times 0 0.08205 times temperature. Now, basically, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, but it must be converted to Kelvin. Now, for you to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin, just say degrees Celsius plus 273 gives us the Kelvin scale. So basically, 25 plus 273 gives us 298 Kelvin. So this is going to be the Kelvin value, which is 298. So we say 298 times the Banoff factor in this context, it is 1 because it's a non dissociated compound over the osmotic pressure 15.28 atm because this is used whenever the pressure is not atm times the volume which is 500 cm cube so what will be the molar mass of the solute when we hit the calculator we get 80 grams per mole 80 grams per mole so you can see how exhibition of osmotic pressure works which is a colligative property now let's quickly move over to another question now let's quickly move over to the next question the next question says 3.02 grams of a soluble ionic compound with the mx2 was dissolved in 780 milliliter of solution at 27 degrees celsius the osmotic pressure of the solution is 2.56 atm the molar mass of the ionic compound is, so they are asking us to determine the molar mass of the ionic compound. Recall, the compound nature is MX2. So first, let's dissociate this compound to get the Van Off factor. So we dissociate it, become M, 
um, 2 plus plus 2x minus. This compound is dissociated to form 3 ions. 1 mole, 2 moles. So basically, the Vernon factor becomes 3. Now, to determine the molar mass of the compound, recall the formula for the um, osmotic pressure is simply the molarity, which is mass, times a thousand, times arrow, times T, times I, over molar mass. Times the volume, the volume in cm cube or milliliters, cm cube or milliliters, dm cube or liters. So you see, cm cube and milliliters goes together, whereby dm cube and liter goes together. So basically, we simply make molar mass subject of formula here, which abbreviated MO will now be equal to mass times one thousand times arrow times t times i over pi which is osmotic pressure times volume in milliliters in this context okay so let's determine the molar mass so we impute parameter first the mass of the solute was given to be 3.02 grams okay the molar mass becomes the mass 3.02 times 1,000, times 0 0.08205, which is the arrow, times temperature. Now, the temperature is 273, uh, sorry, 27 degrees Celsius. So, converting it to Kelvin, so degrees Celsius plus 273 is equal to Kelvin scale. And um, the degree Celsius was 27 degrees Celsius. So, we'll say 27 plus 273 is equal to 300 Kelvin. So, Kelvin, 300 times the vinyl factor in this context it is 3 over the uh, osmotic pressure which is 2.56 times the volume which is 780 milliliters so one person can to get the molar mass of this solute it becomes 1 1 1.7 grams per mole so this is how to solve questions on the exhibition of osmotic pressure, okay, which is basically colligative property. Remember, I said colligative properties are sets of physical properties that de depends on the number of particles and not the nature of particles. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.